In this video, I want to guide you through step by step on how to use Insta360 Stories. Stories is the new feature in the Insta360 ONE X mobile editing app, and it allows you to bring together different clips and put them into one sequence. My name's Rich from Eat Sleep 360, and on this channel, you'll find hints, tips, tutorials, and reviews for 360 photos and 360 videos. So please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you're told straight away when I upload a new video. So let's get straight to it. Open up the Insta360 ONE X app and select the new stories icon at the bottom. Then select project and then create new project and you can either select clips from your ONE X album or your phone's album. Select the clips you want to edit together and then press confirm. The clips will then be placed in the stories editor. The editor is divided into three sections. The first section is tweak. And the first icon we see under the tweak section is speed. You can adjust the speed from a quarter speed and then if you swipe your finger to the left you'll see speeds up to 64 times original speed. Select the speed you want to use and then slide your finger to the left to select how much of the clip you want to adjust and then select the tick icon to confirm. If you want to adjust the speed of another section of the same clip now re-select the clip and choose which new bit you want to change. The next icon to the right is the scissor icon which is trim. Select this icon to trim the length of the clip. Select the icon on the left which is your in point. Slide your finger to the left until you get to the point where you want your clip to start. Now select the out point icon. Slide your finger to the right and stop where you want the clip to end and now click the tick icon. The next icon along is the text icon and this allows you to add text and titles to your shot. Tap the middle of the screen and you can then change your title. You can change the colour of your text by choosing any of the colours along here. And you can change the position of the text to either centre or subtitle which positions it at the bottom. And if you move along to the right you can select different fonts for your title. The next icon along is volume which allows you to change the volume of the original audio on your shot from 0 to 100. Finally the change icon allows you to scale an image or video so that it fits the full frame of the aspect ratio you've chosen. So if we take a photo and we want it to fill the frame we can use this feature. The next section along is tune and in here we can select from various filters to change the look of our shot and you can change the intensity of the filter by sliding this slider along here. We can also fine tune the shot by selecting adjust and here we can make adjustments to exposure, highlight, saturation etc. We make the adjustments by sliding this slider in the middle. The icon in the middle allows you to compare your changes with how the original image looked. And the small loop on the right resets any changes to your image back to zero. The final section is cut and the first icon we see is the copy icon. This will copy your clip and place it in a new slot holder next to the original. You can also split your clip into two by selecting the split icon. You then need to select at what point you want your clip to split. Press confirm and then the clip will split with the second half being placed in a new slot holder to the right of the original. Now we've finished with all the individual clip features, we can now clear this screen by tapping on the down arrow. We are then presented with these icons and we can add some music. Select the music icon and choose from several music tracks that are included with the app. When you've found the track you want to use, then click on the tick icon. You can slide along this slider here to choose at what point in the music track you want to start. You can also choose how the original recorded sound and the music is blended. The more prominent you want to hear the music, then the more you slide towards the music symbol end. And if you want to hear more of the original sound, then you slide the slider away from the music symbol. If you want to blend the original sound with the music track that you've just selected, then leave it somewhere in the middle. If you want to play your sequence full screen, you can select this icon here. To exit the music screen, select the down arrow. Moving along to the right, you can now change your aspect ratio, so the size that you want your video frame to be. And you can change it from 1x1, 9x16 or 16x9. The final icon on the right is Colour Plus. You can toggle this on or off, but you won't see the final result until the video has been exported. Colour Plus is Insta360's new feature, which is designed to give more vibrant colours and greater dynamic range to your shots. 
The final thing we can do is change how our sequence transitions from one shot to the next. And we can do that by selecting the shot here and then clicking on the small symbol that sits in between each slot holder. When you've clicked on this symbol, you can then choose from all the transitions along the bottom of the screen. And when you select them, the transition will be added to your shot and you can see how it will look. You can also adjust the length of the transition, so how long it takes to change from one shot to the next, by sliding this slider here. You can do this for every shot along your timeline by repeating this same process. To play the clip through, scroll back to the beginning of your timeline and press play. You are now done and you can preview your sequence and export it using this icon here and save it to your phone's album or export it to one of your social media channels. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, give the video a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more 360 tutorials and hints, tips and reviews, then please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss out on any new content. I'll see you on the next video.